Yo, Philly. Welcome into Philadelphia 76ers now right here on Chat Sports. I'm your host, Jay Senior. Appreciate all of you who have subscribed so far. If you haven't, hit that red subscribe button down below. Get us to 2,000 subscribers if you want the best Sixers news and rumors coverage right here on YouTube. We're diving into the latest on Ben Simmons and Damian Lillard on today's show. We first start with Ben Simmons. So Howard Beck and Sam Amick are two of the best basketball reporters out there covering the NBA. They did a podcast together, the Crossover Pod, which is Beck's podcast. And Sam Amick had some really interesting things to say about Dame as well as Ben Simmons, which we'll explore here on today's show. Amick went on to say to Beck that he thinks Ben Simmons is going to get traded before Damian Lillard and all of the other stars out there, including guys like Bradley Beal. He's just not sure when a deal is going to happen. And he went on to say that Ben Simmons might not get traded until maybe in training camp. And this might be a situation that lingers into the season. Whatever happens, we have you covered right here on our brand new 76ers channel. Amick also said that Daryl Morey, and we know this, he's infatuated with Damian Lillard, would want nothing more than Simmons going to Portland in exchange for Damian Lillard to team up Dame and Joel Embiid. Amick, more on Simmons. Here's what he had to say. I'll go with Simmons as the first star to get traded. I don't know where he goes. It seems like Bradley Beal doesn't want to go anywhere. I don't know where Ben goes. I think Daryl Morey would love nothing more than Ben going to Portland and Damian Lillard coming back his way. I think if Damian Lillard wanted that, it probably would have happened already. That last line is something I want to focus on here because I think it's pretty telling. If Damian Lillard, with all of the say that he has within that Portland Trailblazers organization, wanted to be traded from the Portland Trailblazers, and if he wanted to get dealt from the Pacific Northwest to the city of brotherly love, I think he would have made it happen already. I think he would have made the situation in Portland so contentious that they would have traded him away. And if he wanted to be on the Sixers, it would have happened already because a couple things to, in play here. Daryl Morey, it's been said, loves Damian Lillard. And I think he's willing to give up anything for Dame, a package that might include Ben Simmons, maybe even Tyrese Maxey, Matisse Thibel, future draft capital, because he understands how good of a player Dame is, how magical the one-two punch could be with Dame and Embiid, and he would have pulled the trigger right away because history shows that Daryl Morey is a very, very aggressive general manager. Since he's come into the league, he's made the most trades and the most moves of any GM across the entire sport. So if Dame wanted to get dealt to Philly, I think it would have happened already. Now, could it happen leading into the NBA trade deadline because Dame has always been loyal to Portland and he has trust in that organization that they might be able to get it right and... He loves his situation there because he got drafted in 2012 and has, had, and has had a bunch of great memories, potentially. But I think it's looking more and more likely that Dame, and I've said that here on the channel, is going to start the season with the Blazers, see how the season starts, but if it gets off to a tumultuous start, maybe Dame gets traded at the NBA trade deadline and maybe Philadelphia is able to net Dame in a trade. So do you think a Dame trade to the Sixers is dead? That's the question that I'm cooking up for you right now. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Get your votes in in the comment section right now. If you're new to us here at Chat Sports, we're a very interactive YouTube channel. We love hearing from you. One of the big pillars that we've been able to build our company on is audience interaction. So be sure to get those votes in. As for Ben Simmons possibly starting the year in Philadelphia, it's also looking like that is going to happen. And a couple weeks ago, if you would have told me that and made those remarks to me, I would have said, I don't know. You're pretty crazy because it looks as though the writing was on the wall and the relationship between Simmons and Doc Rivers, Daryl Morey, Joel Embiid, this fan base, this organization is fractured. But you kind of read the tea leaves here and I don't know if a deal is going to come to fruition prior to the start of NBA training camp, which kind of lends itself to it opening up a whole can of worms, which we'll get to here in just a second. Nick Friedel of ESPN was asked about some of his key predictions for the big storylines going into the 2021-2022 NBA season. He had this to say about Simmons. At this point, it's looking a little more likely by the day it's that he's going to return to Philly at the start of the season. But it's still hard to believe that the Sixers would want to start the season with Simmons after the way things ended in the playoffs. Can you imagine how loud the boos will be the first time he messes something up or looks hesitant at the line? I understand not wanting to make a bad deal, 
But is it possible to fix his confidence when a portion of the fan base has already lost so much confidence in him? I talk about the can of worms being opened. A couple things you have to monitor here. What is the leverage that the Sixers have right now? Because every team across the NBA knows they're trying to get rid of Ben Simmons. Also, there's that awkwardness factor here. Doc Rivers, Daryl Morey, Joel Embiid, they all have kind of thrown Ben Simmons under the bus a little bit. And now they're seeing a player in Ben Simmons who was allergic to shooting in that second round playoff series against the Hawks. And now for like the fifth straight offseason, we're seeing more videos of Simmons carving up his defenders and pick up basketball in the offseason. He's hitting step back threes, sidestep threes, pull up threes. Are you kidding me? And if Simmons does come back and that awkwardness lingers between him and the team, him and the organization, his teammates and the fan base, what does that do for the culture? That could cause a lot of problems. So, so those are some of the things that I'm monitoring with this Ben Simmons situation in Philly. Hey, speaking of Philly, you guys got to help me out here. I'm a Philly area guy, as I've talked about here on the channel. Grew up in Westchester, went to Temple. I love my city. But the bosses are on my ass because they said, yo, Chase, we have to get to 2,000 subscribers here on Sixers now, or you might get fired, and you might not be able to do any more Sixers videos. So help me out, show some love to one of your own, and subscribe right now. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers by the weekend. Let's get to the latest on Damian Lillard now. Some more nuggets coming out with Dame. So Dame said on Instagram Live the other day, quote, I'm not leaving Portland right now at least. And when he says right now at least, it lends itself to us continuing to talk about these Damian Lillard trade rumors because Sixers fans and I want Dame in the city of brotherly love. He also addressed some of the trade rumors and trade speculation that's been hurled upon him during this offseason that I'm sure has been somewhat difficult to deal with while playing in an alumni game at Weber State. And of course here on the channel we did talk about CJ McCollum saying that he expects his backcourt mate to start the season with Portland and play with the Trailblazers this year. Here's what Dame had to say about those trade rumors. You get to a position where it's like, do I defend myself or do I just say nothing? For me, when I'm just hearing stuff that's not the facts, I'm going to say, I didn't say that. He's got to stand up for himself, right? Some things I've just got to let go be said. I know what the truth is. I know where I stand. It's not my duty to make the public know. It's not my job to make them aware of what that is. I think at the end of the day, like Damian Lillard has dealt with and handled this offseason really well because there have been so many rumors thrown out there about Dame wanting out, requesting a trade, not happy with the situation in Portland. But if you look at Damian Lillard's entire tenure in the Pacific Northwest, he has said, I'm not a fan of super teams. I've been loyal to Portland. I want to stay here. I want to win a championship here. Now, pivoting off of that, it's understandable to see why he's frustrated because the Blazers, for the last five years, have failed to make it out of the first round of the NBA playoffs. And in almost a decade of him being with the Trail Blazers, they've only made it to the Western Conference Finals one time. But Dame, if you read the tea leaves here and you look at his history, he wants to stay in Portland. And I think to start the season, my prediction is that Dame is going to be with the Trail Blazers. I don't think he's going to get traded. I think he starts the season with the Blazers, the team that drafted him out of Weber State and really found him as a diamond in the rough prospect back in 2012. And he's going to see what happens. And if the season gets off to a bad start, maybe he requests a trade in season or at the NBA trade deadline. If they play well and surprise a lot of people, he gets to stay home in Portland. More reporting on Dame from Sam Anik. He said, bottom line, I don't think Dame looks out there and sees a place that he wants more than what he currently has in Portland that he sees as feasible because he knows he's totally in control. He's under contract for several more years. So we will continue to monitor this situation. And if any new rumors come out here on the channel that kind of have the Sixers in play or mention the Sixers, hey, we have you covered. What would you give up for Dame? Before I get out of here, I want to pose that question because I want all of you to get your trade packages in in the comment section right now. So do that.